<coughs> oh, go, go. Who, if death is coming, he needs to come quickly. What's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jay. Uh, so as per usual, you know, <coughs> oh, sh you know, as per usual, your man's got to do a weekly live reaction. This week we're doing Rise of a Shield Hero. Um, I know I haven't done it in a while just because after episode 12, I was like, yo, this seems like a really good time to end. It's a season ender. You know, for most seasonal anime, they have either 12 episodes or 24 episodes. So I felt like it was a good time to stop. But then I heard that it was getting a little hype. So your boy had to make another video. Um, so I missed the last two episodes, episode uh, 14 and 15. Um, I proceeded to watch 14, but you know, I like to do my live reactions in batches. I okay. So, what's crazy to me is that a lot of things in this anime that do make sense also don't make sense at the same time. And what I mean by that is mostly because a lot of the stuff that happens in this show obviously is happening to Nafumi and he's really just reacting to everything. But, like, the story in itself, like, certain pieces make sense and certain pieces don't. Like, the fact that they hate the shield hero, but yet they need the shield hero to protect them from the waves. So, why is it that... You would set up and like do all, everything you can to screw over this one hero, but you need him in order to for your entire country to survive. Like stuff like that just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, we got a wave going. Oh, this must be in the. Okay, so this is in the past. Nah, kill that nigga, man. He gotta die. He don't remember her. He got he got too many of them. Yeah, that's right. Shut your mouth. Yeah, do it, do it. Uh, huh? Yes! Yes, it will help with your closure! Boo! Bitch, boo! Kill him! Um, that's not true. That's not true. She talking about, oh, oh, if I kill you now, I'm no better than you. I, I'm just like you or whatever. Like, first of all, bitch, no you're not. This man is slaving and raping all these demi-humans. Nah, get, get rid of his ass. He gotta go. Yup, see? Nah, you should've killed him. What's she hit him with? Oh, is this a new sword she has? I saw her use it. Huh? That's it. He gone. Bye bye, fat guy. See, they wrote it to where now she doesn't take she doesn't take blame for his death. It was an accident. Like, the result is still the same. This is so interesting. Oh, now they're gonna free the prisoners. I'm about to have sex slaves down here. All sorts of shit, bro. Bro, this is the cutest shit ever and everything. This is great backstory, but I ain't trying to hear it. God damn. Damn, yo. This would not be as sad if I wasn't this invested in both this character and the story right now. Holy shit. <laughs> Her friend dies of a fever? That's crazy. Yo, look at them chap lips. Oh my god. Yeah, they don't let slaves have chapstick. There's more? Holy shit. <gasps> is this her friend? Yo, we got a new... Yo, is he about to get... Oh man, this would be great if he joins the party. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yo, this is what I'm thinking, yo. He's about to, they're about to nourish him back to health, right? Then they're about to train him, right? And then he has another, he has another DPS on his team. Yo, this is about to be dope. My man Nafumi is coming up with the slaves, bro. Oh, shit. That's brutal. And they just left her bones in there for years. I don't know if this is a different distance of like months or years, but holy shit. Oh, and she's getting first-hand experience at seeing what the world is like outside the castle. Yeah, her friend must have been dead for a minute. For her to de- They left her in there to decompose. That's crazy. That means they probably didn't use that cell for anything. Like, they were either throwing other people in there with that dead body or just like leaving it there to rot. Oh my god, are they having a moment? This is the cutest shit, I swear. Low key, Nafumi's been changing, like, since day one, man. Like, at first he was just like, nah, fuck being the shield hero, I don't even give a damn. But now, he's just like, fully embracing it. Yo, this man is summoning something? Hold up. Yeah, no, you're done, buddy. Yup! <laughs> Not so. <laughs> okay, so all I have to say is after this this episode, this is great for establishing backstory and all this other stuff with Rough Talia, but I was already attached to this character. I didn't need all this extra stuff, but it does set up the next fight, which I'm very, very excited for. See, and this is why I skip episodes, because if I would have sat and only live reacted to this episode, which was literally nothing but just talking and a fat man dying, although he didn't die until the dinosaur stepped on it. But yo, it's about to be lit in this next one. Nafumi is about to get another level up? Let's go. Who's this? I hope they don't introduce any any new... Okay, I hope they don't introduce any new magical kind of creatures or anything like that that are basically going to... Uh, 
essentially take away the armor that uh, Nafumi has basically said. Because up until this point, he's achieved almost everything with his wit and like just doing it himself. Um, and of course his team. So I'm just like... I don't introduce a character that's just gonna give him magical plot or like additional plot armor like I I don't need that in this show the show is very grounded please leave it the way it is like oh my god everybody is getting wrecked yo as soon as this nigga sees Philo that's it he's done oh big chicken all right Nafumi this is your time to shine baby wait hold up Philo what are you doing Philo stop it oh my god why is the princess going and of course the T-Rex just passes up. Perfectly good food. Okay. Woo! About to have some chicken for lunch! Damn, this thing is moving! Yo! But why'd you bring the princess though? I, I don't understand. Oh shit! And Philo does almost no damage. Okay, here we go! Rough Talia, let's go! Oh. Wow. Okay, uh... Pull out the Black Maiden, baby! Why do I have a feeling? I was gonna say, yeah, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, it's other Philos. Where are we going with this? Oh, this high level gang, gang shit right here. So are they just not gonna fight the T-Rex? Transformation jamming, what? Oh, is that angel chick? Yo, she better be mad powerful. What the shit? Oh my God. Okay. Woo, this bitch a thicky. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Just that little kick, dude! <laughs> oh, he can shoot fire, too? Weak. Pathetic. <laughs> Yo, that flash step! Oh, no! <laughs> That's power right there, baby! What do they need the heroes for? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is the Philo Queen a lolly, though? I don't understand that. Are the most powerful characters in this in this in this game, uh, lollies? Is that it? Yo, not for me. You better go get those bones, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that shit in mind. There's a goal, baby. There's a goal. Get those dragon materials. <laughs> what a dump. <laughs> You're not supposed to bring humans here. What? Then why are you bringing humans here? Oh, talking. I, I, I don't know if I can do more talking. She's the queen candidate. Oh, because a hero is raising her. Oh. Oh, this is the cutest shit. Oh, there's waves across the world? A hero raised you? Oh, it was the previous shield hero. So the previous shield hero raised her. So the heroes are supposed to split up. They're not supposed to all be in the same place. If the heroes are fighting and for the sake of the world, we must kill the four cardinal heroes. <gasps> what? So we get one fight and then a, a butt ton of talking. Okay, so... See, here's what I don't understand. A lot of this show has been leading up to whatever the shield hero is supposed to do. He's supposed to unlock this ultimate ability that is basically going to thwart the other three heroes. But with the Philo Queen, she is basically like... I guess she's been through this cycle before. I guess like multiple heroes have cycled. And she's lived long enough to see uh, them like basically like... She has like an instruction manual where it's just like, oh, if the heroes are fighting each other instead of the catastrophes, that means you have to kill the heroes. And I assume if you kill the heroes, new ones respawn, so then they have to do it again. Um, but that's just that's just my theory on it. A lot of this show is really just kind of like piecing stuff together, and it really wasn't like puzzly uh, up until now. Before it was literally just abuse the shield hero, then talk shit about him, and then let him go and do whatever he wants, and then the wave starts, and then we like the shield hero again, and then we do it all over. So, you know, it's it's interesting. I've liked this show so much, but I've never seen. I mean, there's very very few, but. There's only so many isekai that I've gotten like, or just animes in general that I just get pissed at when I watch. And seeing Nafumi get fucked over, and then the second, pr the the other princess, yo, this shit is just mad aggravating. In the spear hero, bro, don't get me started on the spear hero. I hate this guy so much. But yo, this is gonna be it for today's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, are you guys currently watching Shield Hero? And if you are, like, what do you think? I know a lot of people. Or like just read the manga just read the manga i don't 
I don't really want to fuck with the manga like that. Not yet. Not until this season is over. And we still have eight episodes left. So I really want to see what happens. But uh, let me know your thoughts and stuff down below. If you're, First of all, please, anime watchers only. Uh, that's all I want to hear about down below. Thank you, guys. Uh, make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. This has been your boy, Jay Samuel. I'll catch you guys next time. Keep it canning.